How's it going everyone? Jesse from Hollow Boys and today is the long awaited fixing of Hazy. So we have to replace the gearbox in it. We've got the new but old like second hand gearbox over here. Working gearbox. Transfer case everything. So hopefully it <laughs> <laughs> Because it's second hand, I can't say 100% that it works, but fingers crossed. Here's the gearbox. This is what we're working with. So, the yuckiness of the rear main seal. Yeah, the rear main seal will be done while we're here, while the gearbox is out, because it's leaking. So what actually caused the issues, if you come over this side. So somehow we lost a few bolts and the whole gearbox moved and that's what actually caused oh. the damage in the gearbox so we don't exactly know what's Yuck. what is damaged but we just know that it won't go into gear and won't hold gears i can tell you right now there's water in that gearbox yeah for sure now but other than that just gotta get started so to start off take, uh, doing the gearbox, we're going to do the master cylinder, the sla uh, sorry, the slave cylinder, whatever you call, call it. <laughs> um, take that off and the two tail shafts to get it prepped. Then we take the cross member off the gear. But the plan is remove everything that needs to be removed first, obviously. <laughs> State the obvious, Captain. Yeah. Take the cross member off, get the jack that's over there. Mm -hmm. It's a gearbox jack made for the hoist. Put that hopefully here, because I'm pretty sure that would be the balance point there because the, the, oh, transfer, yeah, the transfer case is quite case. heavy. Yeah, we gotta Stay tuned. get started. All right, so first step will be to take the rear tail shaft off so it's a 14 mil you got to get the spanner on one side the gun on the other and they just come straight out now that the the back is done i'm going to leave two two bolts in there just to make sure it doesn't fall so that's the rear tail shaft. That was to do the front tail shaft. Alright, both tail shafts are off. Next is the cross member. Which might have to take the uh, exhaust off because it's connected to the cross member as well. But I'm going to try and get away with not taking the cro uh, exhaust off. Otherwise, I have to get up in there and take and disconnect it from here. Uh, up in there is annoying yeah so fingers crossed all right next is to take off the cross member and the gearbox bracket thing um but make sure all cords and hoses are disconnected as well all right take this one off um remove these these two, I already removed them, but yeah. And next, I'm gonna add, do the jack, the gearbox jack for added safety, just in case it comes down. Shouldn't come down, but it's added safety. Exactly what I just said.
And now for the gearbox cross member. So the gearbox cross member is two bolts, uh, sorry, four bolts on this side, four bolts on the other side, 19 mil. I was correct. And 17 mil. I was also correct. <laughs> There's little bolts in here, so four little bolts as well. And now the whole cross members off. There we go. Now the cross members yeah. off. So got, got to remember from that, if there is ever a next time, but if you are doing this, four bolts on each side, the big bolt that holds the gearbox mount and the four smaller bolts that hold the gearbox mount as well. So I miss the small bolts. And that's what was holding it. I thought it was the uh, side steps, which it was, but also that. So now that that's all done, uh, slave cylinder, make sure all the wires and the, the pipes are off and any hoses, anything like that. Make sure all of them are off, then to drop it. All right, get that going. Let's see what you're doing. Oh, all right, so we're just going to take this one off and move it to the side. Slave cylinder. Because... That one's obviously not connected, and this one's already plumbed up, um, bled, everything like that. So instead of changing them, just take this old one off. It still works. 12 mil. Needed to be taken off anyways, even if we were to change it. Yeah, well, yeah, true. But this one's already bled and connected, so might as well keep it on the top. And I'm also, while he's doing that, I'm just going to quickly take off the uh, gearbox mount because our gearbox mount is better than the one that's on it. So I'm just going to quickly do that above the camera so you'll hear the gun. So we need to uh, take the exhaust off. As I said earlier, missing some of the bolts on the side. So I'm gonna have to go get some more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some degrees up. Yeah. While this gearbox is out, I'm gonna do a deep clean under here too with some degreaser and stuff like that. Are you going to get degreaser? Oh, One, two, three, yes, please. Four, um, five. Uh, as you can see here, we're actually just removing the remainder of the bolts. So in total, there should have been ten bolts, but there was only five remaining. Uh, as I explained earlier in the video, for some reason, somehow, we lost our bolts, and that's what caused all the damage on the clutch and whatnot. Oh. Um, so these, if you're having trouble with them, like, just flopping around and not being able to go onto the bolt, what you can do is grab, like, a rubber band or something of that thing, or even, like, a like an o-ring for thing oh my god i've got grease all over me um you put it on this and then you twist it to whichever way you want it and it'll stay in that position but it will still have room and flexibility so when it is spinning you'll do that but it'll go in there and it'll just stay like that this one's actually pretty all right it stays in the right position <laughs> So this is my brother Blade. He knows a lot more about cars than I do. Your box is about to come yeah, off, I so. Know. 
You know, I'm gonna quickly move the, the camera backwards so it doesn't get crushed either. Ow. Blades over there taking the actual um, shifter for the transfer case because that's the only thing preventing us from getting it out. So I'm going to cut it, cut most of the video, but it's actually been about 20 minutes of it being disconnected and ready to be taken out. But the shifter is preventing us, so it's actually holding up the top and preventing it. So Blade's taken the shifter off and then that should be the only thing preventing it. So... Huh? All right, you get out. Look at that. So, so much easier. Oh my god. Alright, you ready? Yep. Do you take spell housing? Well, I'll take transfer case. Why don't we just push it? Why don't we just roll it out for now? Out the front? Yeah, roll it out that way. No, it's not. Yeah, no. Roll it out the front. It's gonna get here. Oh, no, it's not. No. Oh, it will. This will. Oh, so. Yeah, so just roll it outside. So much bloody easier with that transfer case handle out. So, if you're ever doing a Allen One Sixty Seven gearbox change, take take the transfer case shifter out. So that's part one of the video, just removing the gearbox. If you want to watch how to put it back in, stay for part two. They'll both come out on the same day, hopefully, if not a couple of days apart. But gearbox is out, new gearbox to go in. So we're going to put the gearbox in, change clutch, change throw out bearing, because that all come in the, the kit for the clutch. Uh, and I'm also taking the flywheel off and doing the rear main seal. So the rear main seal will be another video. So if you need to do a rear main seal, that'll be another video as well. So stay tuned for that. That'll be the next thing we do now, but that'll be another video. So this is just part one of the video. Stay tuned for part two, putting the gearbox in. And a side video is the throw up, uh, the remain seal so cheers cheers so we've decided we're going to do actually two side videos the clutch is going to be another video as well so that way if you need to just change the clutch it'll be a separate video to actually taking the gearbox out so there will actually be four videos one is this video taking the gearbox out two the uh, replacing the clutch three replacing the th uh, rear main seal and for replacing the putting the new gearbox in it'll show the throw out bearing as well thanks for watching hope you've all enjoyed hope it helps uh, we really much appreciate it if you if you do like the content please like and subscribe leave a comment um, anything helps so much appreciated love you all thank you all bye